guys welcome back to drew tutorial and in today's video i am going to show you how to fix your keyboard not working on your windows 11 or windows 10 pc before we jump in guys would you mind take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video and on top of that the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one now let's continue as you can see here, I have the notepad open up guys and I have some gibberish text right here on my screen, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to type some more stuff. I'm going to try to backspace and as you can see right here, I'm trying to hit the backspace key but it simply is not backspace and I'm simply not clearing any of the text that I have on my screen. And this can be caused by one important feature that is within Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC and it's the sticky keys. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to minimize this for a moment and I'm going to head into my settings here on Windows 11. So right click anywhere on your taskbar here, just simply go to settings and once you're inside here, you want to go to accessibility. Now once you're here, you want to go all the way down to where you find keyboard and you want to click on that. Now you want to look for filter keys and if you're seeing that your filter keys is currently turned on, you want to go ahead and expand this so that you can see and understand more why this is the reason that it could be causing the issue. Now, as you can see here, it tells you here that keyboard shortcuts for filter keys, if you press and hold that for eight seconds, if you have this feature enabled, then it could cause an issue for you not be able to use your keyboard and using the backspace key on your keyboard or something like that right and depending on how you're typing as you can see there are the various options here now the important thing that you want to check is you want to look for the ones that are saying ignore quick keystroke ignore unintended keystroke which is bounce keys and ignore repeated keystrokes right and you can expand these and you can see how many seconds it is set to now as you can see this is currently set to 0.3 seconds so 3 milliseconds there and for example the unintended keystroke it is set to wait before accepting for two seconds and that simply means that whenever i'm trying to backspace really quick you realize that nothing happened and this could also be an issue for it now i'm going to show you something real quick if i go ahead and i change this to let's change this to maybe 0.3 seconds you're gonna see a little improvement. I'm gonna backspace, you see? I know it started to move a little bit, but if I wait for like you know, three seconds and try, you will realize that it actually allows me to remove them every few seconds. Now, here's a little more improvement. If you go ahead and you disable these, you will realize that it's now working somehow, right? So you can go ahead and you can try and have a look at that. And you can also hear the clicking sound because the filter keys are currently on right there. You realize there's some jumping as well because you you realize that the filter keys is currently on and depending on how fast you're typing, you will realize that it sometimes jump about. So if you're experiencing issues with your keyboard like this, this could be the issue that you have the filter keys set. No. You can easily disable this and this will easily fix the issue for you. All you have to do is just simply click the right shift on your keyboard and hold it down for about 8 seconds. I'm going to show you this. And you hear that sound. So once you hear that sound after holding the key, you will see that it is currently turned off. And you can also do this manually. You can just easily go back to your keyboard. And once you find the filter keys, you can simply go ahead and turn this off entirely so that you will not be affected by this issue anymore. And if I try to type now, you realize that I'm able to type normally. So guys, if you're having issues with your keyboard, you wanna go ahead and check out the filter keys to see first if it's on. And if it's on, you want to expand it and have a look at those different options here to see if they're enabled and also you can expand them to see how many seconds it is. So if you want to use it, then check the seconds to see if you want to minimize the impact or if you want to disable it entirely go ahead and just simply turn it off here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time